Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Hylex. Uh, what was I doing? So it's been um, about a month since I've recorded. Uh, as some may remember, because it was a few episodes ago. Uh, in the last episode, I was talking about, like, wrapping Christmas presents. Oh, is this... Maybe we should use this one just because it's slightly more updated. And see, now the problem is that I have to re-retrace my steps. Please go away. That's fine. Yeah, I need to first and foremost remember where I was and what the hell I was doing. What does this do? Target elevator comes in. That's interesting. I don't know if I've seen that. That's still one of my favorite animations in this whole game. So I also was re-watching my uh, playthrough of Hylex 1, just because I know where to find it. Um, what does she do? Wave Artifice. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm like, uh, sorry, I haven't recorded in a while. Um, so I'm a little like, I'm a little out of practice, shall we say? And uh, to be perfectly frank, Hylex is still very, very, who very much a shock to the system. Hylex is weird. <laughs> it feels weird to play. It it's weird to look at. Like that's uh, that's weird, you know. Oh, and we're dry. Good. Cool. I like all of that. But yeah, I literally, I clicked on it, and it was like, ooh, you've last played this one month ago. And I was like, have I? Great. Okay, so now I'm figuring out how to get onto that thing. Oops, well, that should be healthy. I probably put myself in a very specific place so I could be like, all right, now remember that you're gonna wanna jump up. And 
and get to that place from where you were last time, but since it's been a month, I forgot completely. Ah, oh, crap. I could have probably slapped him. Let's do a charge. Let's have everyone charge. Why not? Oh, I've repurpled my hair as well. Let's see. You're definitely going to catch some heat for this, so. Let's try to help you out, huh? Wave artifice. I would really love the ability to just kill it in one, you know? Well, that's a problem. Uh, let's heal... you. I feel like that'll be helpful. No, no joke, I wanted that. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, that thing's on full health. <laughs> Let's work on you some, then. Pongo might die here, but that's okay. I like that Lumbast is like basically just a normal attack, but just a little more pizzazz on there. Okay. Perfect. This is the thing that I talked about in the other Hylix, uh, the other one, you know, the first one. Um, but a way to force the player to get more inventive in an RPG is to make the game harder. And like, I don't know how, um, you know, that's something that I, I really wouldn't do. Just, I wouldn't say, oh, just make the game harder and it'll be better. I think that that's the wrong way to go about balancing a game. However, in, um, something like Pokemon, which is pretty easy, like, I don't use a lot of varied strategies in Pokemon. But in some, like, crazy hard ROM hacks for Pokemon, you need to get inventive and play, not quite like a, uh, like, tournament player, but kind of. I can, have, I can have, give you a great offer on some of that junk you're hauling. Cool. I feel like I might have talked to him before. Pardon me, everyone. Just forgot how to use ladder. Bridge key. Okay. All right, I'm here. So one thing that I wanted to mention was um, 
one thing about uh, like making a game hard for the sake of hard sometimes is that uh, sometimes you encourage level grinding. By the way, I just happened to like miss this. So now we can theoretically follow this back. Oh god, don't touch the sand. Cool. So yeah, one thing about um, making a game hard is that like you can sometimes almost enforce level grinding. And that isn't really something that you should, you know, seek. Because, you know, nobody really likes level grinding. Well, whoops. I mean, you know, it can be fun, but that's not exactly the same thing as liking level grinding, you know? Like, combat can be fun, but just doing it for the sake of doing it isn't the same thing, you know? Oh, shoot. But that's the sort of thing that I would, like, want to avoid, you know? Because, like, there are a lot of, like, ROM hacks where you need to just, like, be really inventive and creative. But something that I was uh, noticing about, like, re-watching this one, this game, I should say, um, is healing is so cheap. You get one third of your health for ten juice. Uh, and that's pretty big, actually. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. That's a huge amount of, that's a huge amount of, like, go that you get for, you know, what you pay for. Alright, she might die on this one, but that's okay. I mean, it's not okay, it's... Acceptable, I guess. Such a good animation. It's so cool. But yeah, because, like, so much of this game is, like, um... Like, enemies are really tanky. And so I'm kind of noticing that it might be good to prioritize defense, because healing is cheap. Um, like, that's a, that's a substantial amount of health there. Just hit it again, huh? There's two down. That was lucky. That was a low roll of damage there. Thank you. Alright, I've got a save backed up, so let's uh, save again just in case. Unless we crash right here. Okay, cool. But yeah. It's a very, like, interesting and Maybe difficult idea. I'm going to do that later. That looks like plot. Because, like, how do you want to, like, balance an RPG? Because Hylix 1 was, like, relatively easy. Oh, cool. Multi-juice. I like that animation also. What's this area? Oh, I was here before. Look at the floor texture, by the way. That's so, like, solid. Alright, so that's just a shortcut back to back to where we were, then. Fine by me. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but, like... 
Okay, we talked to these guys as well. Yeah, I don't know if I talked about this in the past, but um, for whatever reason, these games are like... Recording this game is like super intensive. I don't know why. But it's like a... It's like a it can be like 5 gig per episode. Give me that juice, son. I need the air. Right now, theoretically, we could maybe follow this back. To the big dome. I feel good about this. I'm making like real progress. Oh, also, um, this is, uh, pretty substantial news as news comes. Nice, bridge key. But I put my, uh, video of the first episode of my LP of Hylix 2, and the composer, uh, commented on it. I was really, really jazzed about that. That was really cool. His name is Chuck, uh, Chuck something. Chuck, I think, Samanoe. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, and I, I've never seen uh, the name before, so I don't know how to say it. It might just be a fancy way of writing Chuck Salmon. Uh, when talking about it, like when mentioning his name in like my day-to-day -day, uh, speech, I go for my old standby and just switch whatever pronunciation I was using every time. But that's one of those things that, like, annoys people when I do it. <laughs> In real life, too, but, you know. What are they gonna do about it? I pay rent. I don't pay rent. <laughs> but yeah, I was pretty jazzed about that. I think the comment said just, like, glad you enjoyed it. And you mentioned that, like... Glad you enjoyed it from, like, Chuck and Mason, I think it said. I mean, I could go find it. It would take me, like, three seconds, but... Cool, taking care of business. Oh, that's interesting. The, the bridge key does not actually make a bridge and connect it. You just have to make... It just gives you enough of a diving board to make the jump. Multi soul sponge. Oh, that's probably a party rev. Or res, if you prefer. Is that all that's in here? But yeah, I think that's about all that's been going on in my life recently. I've been replaying all the uh, Batman Arkham games with the wife. Or fiancé now. For those who don't know, uh, the woman that I live with, uh, Sarah, who has appeared in videos, so... You know, you might recognize her if you've seen my Dead Space playthrough or my Half-Life playthrough, both of which are pretty fun. The audio can be, the audio can be rough in... Um, Dead Space, but that's okay. Or, uh, Half-Life has rough audio. Okay, now I'm going to save here. What? Oh, that's weird. The, like, floor doesn't load in. 
Why, Mason? That's really unusual. But anyway, um... I've lived with Sarah for several years now, um... And we've been dating for longer. Uh, so... You know, it was like one of those common law marriage things. Which I don't know if my state actually has, but... Okay, I, I'll, I guess I'll save here to avoid that happening. There we go. Steal Highlands Island with the Highlands Island for that Highlands Island. Highlands Island renders down in Highlands Island, mercifully, mercifully isolated down in your Highlands Island. Thanks to another Highlands Island, it's Highlands Island, Highlands Island, steals another Highlands Island. You are really pushing this one. Totally and partially bounce the weak Highlands Island. Sing beside its isolated Highlands Island, above a little Highlands Island. Alright. What I'm getting here is that you guys are pushing this. Okay, so that's just a way in and out. I should check out the rest of this room first. One moment, gotta use the bounce controls. Bounce pad. Can you imagine if Wayne was just like, bounce pad, every time they encountered one? God. Okay, so I'm seeing the same sort of, oh, interesting, we can get up here. I saw that it was modeled and it looked with like the same floor texture that lets you walk on things, but I don't know why I need to be up here though. Anyway, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, I know I mentioned this in Salt and Sanctuary, but my wife actually, uh, my wife, my fiance, still working on that, actually did propose uh, over Christmas break, so I've got that going for me. The nice thing about proposing in December is that people can be like, oh, when's the wedding? And they're like, oh, next year. And it like, it, it tells them nothing. Like, do you mean next year as in 2022? Because of course that's next week. Do you mean next year as in 2023? Because it's almost January and you know, you might just, you, you would just mean that. Yes, queen, give us nothing, you know? I love that. Uh, anyway, but yes, I was playing uh, the Arkham series with my fiance. Those games are solid but uh, flawed in some way in every game. I would say that um, City is probably the least flawed. Although it has some weird shenaniganery with its uh like story but yeah they're very very depressing though. <laughs> I uh I, I think I want to go back and um uh start uh Spider-Man PS4 over, because I'm lucky to have a PlayStation. Nice. I think you guys are the biggest problem, right? I feel like the animation for this could be... Uh, and then let's have you heal Samsnona. I've been seeing a lot of Hylix, uh, like, art and fan art and animations, and, like, I'm happy to see that, of course. They almost always make, uh, like... They make everyone look cuter, but, like, I, I love the designs that I'm seeing for, like, uh... Like Pongorma, for example. Because Pongorma and Data Simone both have, like, really, really weird heads. Like, at the very least, you know. 
Wayne looks weird, of course, but like he's got a face. You know, there's a face on there. Nice. Just what I wanted. And, you know, Samsona is like basically almost completely normal. But Datus Mullen and, and uh, Pongorma are like Tendril Hand. Okay, I should take a look at that actually. Must be a garb? Yeah, power 18. Okay, cool. But yeah, Batman Arkham is like, it's very good, but it's ultimately kind of depressing and a little confusing. There's a lot of, there's other problems with it, but like, ultimately it's fine. It's pretty good, in fact. But like, it is very, it's Batman, it's DC, so of course it's very, very, very grim. <clears throat> and like, Spider-Man, you know, man of the people. A little more optimistic, which is something that I greatly appreciate it for. Oh yeah, we also played Yakuza 7. Um, my wife loves JRPGs and is fantastic at them as well. They don't castigate. It's your delicacy. Refuse to suffer. Destroy. Refuse to understand. When they bind... <coughs> pardon me. When they bind near their Highlands Island, they understand it's Daesh for Highlands Island. Are you the first one? No, you're the first one. What? They're giving me, like, way more. But they're still all nonsense. Oh, are those randomly generated? There was a lot of um, text in Hylix 1 that was, like, randomly generated. Since the moon was trashed, long have I sought the remem remnant gibulet, dreamt of its reconstitution. Reconstitution's prescribed. Prepare your gloves. You test your armament just... Amateurish gestures against Odazir, Master of Foglast, you will become a foundation for the Hylum Xylem. Commence the combats. So what are these things? Odazir and Carsoro. I don't remember Carsoro. I'm thinking it might be good to have uh Data Smolen protect Samsonona because she's so uh, squishy. Oh man, that's really painful. Maybe I should. Scrubber of that. But my wife loves JRPGs, and she played Yakuza, uh, Yakuza 7. Uh, and really, really enjoyed it, because it is very, very good. That's a lot of health, my man. K 
kisses, huh? Oh, interesting. That's really funny. Because, like, when you kiss, you know, like, glass, it just, it looks like that. You know, it's not, like, perfect, like, lip prints. It's, it's like, blurry. And they've just, like, taken pictures. Like, how do they, how do they get that footage? How did they do that? That's so interesting to me. Like, they must have... They must have, like... Maybe they put on lipstick, and then they kissed paper. And then they took pictures of that or scanned it. And were, like... Like, kissing it at different stages. It's so interesting. Cranial Glom. Uh, you're in the double digit, so we need to pop you back up. I feel like they're pushing we must resurrect Gibby so hard, like too hard for him to not be the final boss, you know what I mean? Like, if this game actually ends without the resurrection of, of Gibby, I'll be very, very surprised. Yeah, so, like, how does... Oh, rut row. I guess I'll, like... Feed Wayne one of these, huh? And then Wayne can heal. And then Moln can just start snapping, I guess. I feel like I should have gone after, um, what's his name first, but like, then again, I, I want to like, Odazir feels like a, a bigger threat to go after and Corsoro doesn't, but like the issue is that Corsoro isn't like a centered, you know, like I would rather him be in the middle of the screen. Whoa, that's a really cool animation. He's made of like, ugh. Look, you can see all of his gutty works in there. That's nasty. <laughs> He's got some health. Um, I know I just said, hey, let's let's have you be the, the healer, but let's work on you some more then. One weird thing about having, like, letting every single character get all the same moves is, like, it feels... Duh. It feels kind of, like, hard to differentiate the characters. And, like, granted, they have a very, very unique design, you know? Hmm. Ooh, multi-juice. That's good. Let's res you. Oh, hey, yeah! I recognize- I remember that character now. I don't know if I already remember that character, but that was that one guy, who apparently is called Dracula. Okay. 50% of the crew's will, but I have one of them. Oh, that's really solid. And it fully restores flesh. Oh, that's that's too good. I'll just eat it a cookie. I love that. It, I kind of like that. It's not like a like a classical traditional like chocolate chip cookie. Who needs this?
gizzard spume. That'll poison someone, I think. Or dissolute them. Woof. How much health? 21. That's not good. Uh, the problem with having um, like items that heal a flat amount is that sometimes they can be great early game, but later on, like that can really, really hurt you. Because like 50% is always going to be 50% no matter what. And you know when you're a baby at the start of the game, like 50% of your health is like not a lot. Someone else is going to get poisoned. Yeah, one thing that I will say about Hylix 2, uh, against it, I'm almost sorry to say, is that I kind of wish that there were more unique moves. Um, like, I wouldn't mind if there were just less moves altogether if it meant that every character was more unique. Like, if I could say Pangorma is a tank... Uh, or I could say that, like... Like, if I could unequivocally say that, like, Data Simone was supposed to be a healer. Or even that Wayne is supposed to be the healer. In um, my playthrough of Hylix 1, I talked about how it would be kind of interesting if Wayne was just supposed to be the healer. He's dead. Uh, should I save a soul sponge? I think I will. I'll pop this onto you. But having generic moves is like something that I'm always not sure about. Even in the game where you have like a like a like a job system and you can just be like, I'm gonna be this now and I'm and I will now change to this and now anyone who does that gets those abilities, like I don't know, it's just a little like In in games like that you you have a you have a, a spec, you know, you have a build, you can do something with it. And like Oh, I don't know if we can do it with those guys. Unless we can. He's only got 47. Worst comes to it, we're going to get sent back to the Underworld. Nice! Multi-Soul Sponge and another Cloud Germ. Perfect! I could have used them all, all I wanted. Oh yeah, another thing. I don't know if I mentioned this, but like... It's kind of weird that um, the buff icons go over, like, top of the of the characters because it covers up their art, and that's kind of annoying. You're too late. The ritual cannot be stopped. Blub, blub, he whispers. Oh. That ritual, right. Is he just, is just going to crack open? He's going to be in there? Ugh. Whoa. He's wearing like a Wayne head as like a head, as like a, like a crown. Wh right in? Dude. Not cool. Gibby Ridididivivus. Ready Vivas. That's what it would. Oh God, that's that's funny. That's what it would say whenever. Um, uh, 
Oh my god. Because whenever you would bring somebody back from the dead in Hylix 1, it would say their name and revive it as like that. Oh my god. And dynamite was an attack in Hylix 1 as well. Okay, yeah. Something told me that that was a supposed to lose fight. Is he going to go back to being king of the moon? He was mentioned as being king of the moon. And you had to get a spaceship to go there. Is that a... I think that's a song from Hylix 1. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Interesting. He's like emitting a wave. Oh, wow. Oh. Because Hylix 2 doesn't have like that like different of an art style, shall we say? But there are a few things about Hylix 1 art style that aren't necessarily, like, brought through in this game. Well, um, we failed to prevent Gibby's resurrection. I kind of thought that it was going to go that way. Uh, but we did defeat some bosses, so I feel good about that. Um, something tells me that because this is the only time in the game that we have been forcibly sent to, uh, forcibly sent to the afterlife. Something tells me that it will be different now. Uh, that it'll be remixed. I'm hoping because I've been here too many times anyway. Uh, but I've been Alfred. This has been Hylix 2. Last episode might be the next episode might be the last one. Um, thank you all for coming. I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, remember to buy this game and support the developers. Uh, and uh, Chuck is usually pretty active on Reddit, which is interesting and cool. But yeah, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for coming. Bye.